Hello everybody, I'm Henry Lee. Today I would like to record a uh, practice session uh, before my in-person class on Thursdays. I have been pre prepared this class uh, for the whole week, still cannot uh, master the uh, tricks. The subject matter is icicles. Um, I have done this uh, many years ago, if you recall, uh, on YouTube and also in my landscape class. Um, <coughs> the founder of this uh, technique, uh, Yu Zhixue, uh, had a video in my channel and uh, he described in detail the techniques of this uh, icicle painting and using full solution of all um, but I find uh, the, uh, there are other ways to do it uh, except uh, using a special water resist and wet it dry I can do it uh, wet into wet actually taking advantage of the Chinese uh, shrine rice paper as you can see here uh, so I use one brush with uh, uh, gray or ink another brush um, use basically very uh, light ink or just clean water I just use uh, Sumi ink for the dark So the, the water, water line, uh, the gap between two stroke is what uh, we target after to create this uh, uh, shining edge of the icicles. So here we go. First stroke is just the clean water, just the water. Uh, the brush must be quite wet. Uh, so the stroke is uh, not dry stroke but wet stroke and then you you touch the the edge uh, by overlapping a little bit um, you know normally this will break the light ink right but if you have very full very full uh, stroke it will the two stroke will have a watermark. See this one? So I, I the, pr the previous strokes are a little too dry, so I stopped. And then when I apply another uh, stroke with full water, it will create uh, the watermark that I wanted. Um, you can paint kind of around the light uh, to negative paint but ideally um, it's a kind of uh, interaction between the li light and the dark uh, strokes with a water line the white line in between uh, that's what uh, we try to get But I think if you know what result you want, uh, you'll, you'll find your way of doing that, uh, even without the special uh, treatment of the lipid or, or the paper, <coughs> the ink or, or the paper. Sorry, the which is not uh, visible in this part. Uh, basically, I, I tried to copy the image, uh, the sample on the left by Master Yu Zhixie. So I just negative painted the, the white shape.
you have to use a larger brush uh, with a large loading capacity so you don't have to reload uh, after every stroke. Here we go again, water. Uh, and then immediately, before it, ex uh, it expand, use l dark ink to stop the edge. To uh, so that the, uh, the light try to expand and the, the dark uh, do the opposite. And uh, that's the soft edge kind of. Uh, if you have a nice paper like uh, the, the red star shrine, uh, you'll get uh, definitely a waterline. Uh, this double shrine is not the, the best for that in that regards, but I like the heaviness of it. Uh, it has more body than the single shrine. Just to create a contrast between dark and the light, the shady area, dark ink. Uh, this part, <coughs> uh, Master, you did not use the uh, olive. Only in the white, he used olive in, in full solution, which means that the, the uh, olive will no longer melt in the water. So you will have some left over at the bottom of that lip, uh, that that liquid to get the full resolution. Now I'm going to use uh, some uh, dripping uh, to create the long articles uh, as you see on the master painting. So you have to lean the paper uh, to let it uh, drip dripping down. You try to use the brush to guide that, or you can kind of uh, fake it. And a pool of water on top, and then lean the paper, guide it to let it drip. paint behind the icicle. You can have a little bit overlapping. Uh, the, the, the line uh, is not uh, straight, it's way uh, kind of uh, some part of touching, some part the not. I, I just try to here, I can try to go over the, the water dripping to see if that works, maybe not. If you want a soft edge, that's, that, that's okay. If you want a hard edge, you can wait the, you wait the olive to dry. Here I use uh, uh, clean water to draw the ripples with some uh, uh, perspective, uh, linear perspective, so it's wider near the viewer and uh, narrower in the distance. Now I'm going uh, to use a wet uh, brush to <coughs> paint the water reflection with dark <coughs> So you can you can see the water resist. It, I call it the wet resist method. So you have to do it uh, before the water expand. The the first 
li layer of uh, water stroke ex fully expanded. You just go over it immediately, and that creates a watermark. That's exactly what the <laughs> watermark means, right? <coughs> Can, you can do it vertically or just uh, horizontally, but in different uh, uh, contrast tones, you can create uh, the watermark, re reveal the watermark. That's very nice. I like that. The bottom of the brush is uh, gray. I dipped a little clean water on the tip so it's uh, graded. The tip of the stroke is uh, uh, soft. Just clean water. Right? Not lighter than the bottom. Now uh, the skyline, I reinforced uh, the water line with more clean water to define that. And then just immediately use gray, partially touch it and you will you will leave a water line or a white line in between. Just extend, expand that to the sky. In icicle uh, or snowy landscape, we have a grayer uh, background or sky. You can use uh, a little bit uh, blue like uh, in the master copy. But for this value study, uh, it doesn't matter. I just want to get the black and white right. Here's a painting I did on silk with watercolor. Uh, this would be a good uh, composition for this uh, icicle uh, cave composition for, for this kind of painting. Instead of uh, the branches, uh, you can just do the icicle uh, hanging on the ceiling of a, a cave. <coughs> and that's about it. Uh, tomorrow we'll do it in the classroom setting on YouTube. I hope uh, we'll have good luck. Please subscribe to my channel and uh, we'll see you on Thursdays um, at uh, 10 a.m. California time. <laughs>